Hi, this is a demo of the Cisco AnyConnect client integration with the Microsoft Azure Active Directory in the cloud, as well as the Duo uh, multi-factor authentication. So here you can see I have an AnyConnect client uh, sitting here, and the pings are not uh, getting through to uh, resources behind the VPN. So let's go ahead and start the client here. I'm going to connect to my Azure uh, connection profile. Okay, and now as part of the authentication process, I have to log in. Let me go ahead and log in. Using my test client. And then type in my password. Okay, and then as part of the process now, I'm being prompted as part of the conditional access for a duo multi-factor authentication. And here on my desktop, I just got a prompt. You can see the duo and duo um, Cisco uh, Microsoft uh, Active Directory for Azure. Hit approve. And okay, now I'm going to sign in. Let me just, there you go, and there I am. Now, welcome to Azure Active Directory Group. Hit accept. Okay, it's so establishing VPN, and here we go. Now I am connected. You can see that the, the stats are incrementing, and then the pings on the left-hand side uh, are starting to, to get through here. Now let's take a look at what's happening on the ASA side. So on the ASA side, let me do a refresh for monitor. And you can see here that Bob at Irvine Security has connected with all his uh, logon statistics. And from a configuration perspective, on the ASA side, it's fairly simple. I simply connected or created a connection profile for cloud, uh, call it Cloud Azure. And then the authentication method is SAML. And the SAML provider information here uh, it was uh, taken from the Azure Cloud uh, portal. So these are all a bunch of... Uh, information that I grabbed uh, from the Azure portal here. And if we go ahead and take a look at the Azure side, and you can see here in Microsoft Azure uh, as part of enterprise applications, and I had it, I created an application called uh, Azure AD for Cisco ASA. And inside of that, um, there's uh, it's pretty simple. There's five steps. You create the users in the Azure cloud, single sign-on, information here and this is where I configure a bunch of SAML uh, integration as uh, SAML information from the ASA as well as information here I input into the ASA and I go back here and then the conditional access with duo multi-factor is the conditional access side of here where I add on the duo multi-factor okay that's it thank you for watching